So this is all magnetically coupled together. There's no direct connection to these rollers, to the driver underneath. Everything's completely magnetically locked. And electrically isolated. So these inductors are isolated from the platform underneath. So if I want to introduce high voltage, I can do that. Now, can you can you tap current from these coils here? It's about so far nine volts. Okay. It's not a whole lot. It's AC. And then what's driving it is underneath, and mm -hmm. that is not mechanically coupled; it's magnetically coupled. Yep. Yeah. So it's just as a, that spins, it takes the rollers with it. Yep. About 36 watts is all it takes to drive this quite easily. And the motor can run, I've tried this, the motor can run for hours and doesn't get warm at all because I'm, I'm underperforming on it. So it has these bands of rotation, it's real smooth, and others it'll kind of oscillate a little bit. There's 200 RPM. And I've also noticed is the faster it gets, the noise level drops too. I know especially on that one I can get it really fast. Now this is only about 214 RPM. With the new improved rollers, I can go up to about 385 RPM. So it's quite a bit faster. As with these old ones are quite slow. Let me uh... this shows the battery level, the battery charge, and that shows the RPM. That's to show the active unit is active on off switch, and that's the direction. If I wanted to flip the direction of, of rotation, I could change that switch. this go? This motor can do about 885 RPM. With these rollers on here, I don't really want to try much faster. The new improved ones, I can do about 385 RPM with the brand new rollers. 